So are you guys ready for the first round of mods to the, uh, the uh, ZL-1? I haven't picked out a name yet, but I'm not going to pick like American Rocket or uh, uh, Freedom Missile. That would be weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to send the blower off for porting and see what porting alone. So stock everything else, stock intake, stock throttle body, stock exhaust, and see what that does. And uh, uh, then also uh, uh, add a tune on top of it. Where do you want to put this at? Uh, that's a great question. Let's put it in the trunk. So the blower is off and should be getting picked up as we speak. We need to cover this up with something. Okay, so we taped up the ports and uh, we are ready to hand this blower off. It is in the trunk, you know, where all the superchargers are supposed to be. All the supercharged cars. This is, this is Greg from Kong Performance. There he, is. he ports things. He's huge, so he could probably pick that shit up himself. <laughs> I left the throttle body on there. I didn't want to take it off. All the fun stuff me, right? Yeah, that's right. That way, if you mess it up, I'll just blame you. See, I told you guys he's so strong. <laughs> so what are you doing to it? Porting the snout, porting the blower, throwing it back on the dyno and seeing... It's your CNC port job? Yep. Full cool CNC, five oh. axis CNC, and the whole thing. Oh boy, that's cool. It'd be interesting. Yeah, we get a good before and after. Yeah. And then we'll tune it. Then you'll tune it. Then you'll make some power. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. I covered stuff up. Okay, guys. Max, don't don't mess up my paint. Okay. Mess up your paint? Yeah, don't mess it up. I said mess up your paint. Yeah. yeah. Throw that one 10 millimeter in the back before you Okay. I give it like three quarters like that. Okay, guys. Get greedy, Max. I'm not. I'm just chilling. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. Is that not going on the dyno then? What's that? Or is he just driving around? He probably drunk. No, he. he I gotta. Get he put all the fluid in. <laughs> okay, so Nick does this. Doesn't work for me. Instead, I'm just going to pause the video and uh, uh, come back out when it's ready. Okay, there she is. All back together. Looks like they, uh, they got all the connections, which is good. And the belts on. And all the spark plug wires, or coil pack wires are on. I got my flex fuel sensor ready to go. I had it ready to go for a while. You can't really run flex fuel, but I just, I still like being able to log content. So uh, we'll flash that when we, uh, uh, when we get her on the dyno, we're gonna do a baseline. We're gonna do a baseline with the car, uh, with just the blower, nothing else. And uh, uh, so stock tune, all that fun stuff. And then we're going to uh, swap it around to the, uh, you know, my tuning, and we'll see what, uh, what we pick up from, let's say, the whole package. So, we're back the next morning because we want to see if we can compare a non-heat soak run to a non-heat soak. Uh, that's, a, that's a mouthful. A non-heat soaked run 
to another non-heat soaked run. And uh, uh, when I dynoed this, I put down 575, but I also put it down in like like 30 some degree temperatures. It, I remember it being cold enough that I had to close the garage door mostly and have uh, uh, have the heater on in order to run the dyno. So it was like it was like 20 some degrees I think outside. So we might have gotten a little bit skewed numbers there. Although Nick dyno 581 and we didn't have to do that for his. So uh, uh, we'll, we'll just have to see. Um, what, we're, what I have seen so far is that there's a nice 25 to 30 horsepower gain across the board. And that's, that's really good. That's on the stock tune. And uh, uh, now we're going to uh, uh, run it one more time, non-heat soaked. I guess we found glasses. And uh, uh, we're, we'll see how she does. So we're going to let her warm up, and uh, once she's up to operating temperature, then we're going to run her. The temperature is 77 and the humidity is 66. It's not the best day to dyno it compared to where we were at. This is what we got. It's uh, about right here, but if you look anywhere lower, it's about 30 across the board, the difference. 561 horsepower to 585, that's 24 or so. But uh, yeah, somewhere between 20 and 30 across the board gain. Those are the legit gains with the stock everything. And I'm gonna show you guys what I dynoed in. I dynoed in 38, and this is might be a little artificial. 21 degrees out and I thank God that these cars all come standard with the heated steering wheel It might be a little higher than it should have been because I had to heat the place to dyno it and the humidity was only 21% right now We're dynoing in 77 degrees and 67% humidity. It's uh, It's pretty crazy Let's see what it does with my tune in it My tune, 605 horsepower, 615 foot-pounds of torque, and a, a 616 torque as well. That's pretty damn good. So guys, you can really see what a great progression that you have here. Um, this, I'd say, is definitely a worst case scenario because our baseline was done in some of the best conditions you could possibly ask for, especially for a supercharged car like this. And you can see that even as such, it dynoed 575, and then when we ported it, it gained everywhere. Our cold pulls, which were probably even worse conditions uh, by far than our, uh, uh, our baseline, out of this world like how we can gain 20 to 30 across the board and you can even see in the mid-range there's even more gains than that and finally you know we get to tuning it here and wow look at those gains like we're we're up everywhere we've picked up a peak of 30 rear wheel horsepower and 45 rear wheel torque over what is probably the most generous baseline that you can possibly get on this car so I want to add a special thanks to Greg from Kong Performance because he not only hooked this up, 
he uh, did a great job about the uh, the turnaround. We got that thing the very next day. I mean, really, it was off for only a, a couple hours, and uh, I, it it turned out really great. I'm uh, I'm very pleased with it, and I'm happy to uh, to offer it to my customers. We are a dealer for Kong Performance, so if you would like to get something done, uh, Greg is local to us, so you can drop your car off one day and probably pick it up uh, the next day or the day after. Uh, if we can coordinate it with him. So again, we're a dealer for Kong Performance and uh, yeah, definitely definitely get in touch because this is a worthwhile modification and we're gonna take it even further with the next step. Uh, this is just the blower porting. It's still the stock uh, throttle body and intake. And what we wanna do is we wanna remove some restriction. So we're gonna throw an intake on it and also uh, possibly a 103 throttle body. And uh, that should that should get us uh, quite a bit of gain. In fact, uh, Greg from Kong Performance has been reporting up to a up to about a hundred horsepower gain to the wheels with uh, the uh, intake, throttle body, his porting, and a tune, which is pretty insane. I mean, there, that was no meth, no exhaust work. That uh, that's a, a stout gain. And so we're going to put that to the test in the next video. Well the next video about my ZL1. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you catch all the follow-ups on it. Have a great day, guys.